Asuna wakes late for school. Her mother's voice shrill through the screen, urgent as Einstein's letter to Roosevelt recommending accelerated experimentation. Asuna's eye irritated by a rogue eyelash, tears and splashed water unable to liberate it, as though she were trying to first magnetically separate the isotope U-235 from the heavier, non-fissionable isotope U-238. She rushes breakfast, gulping tea that scalds her throat like fragments of jade green radioactive glass littering the New Mexico test site, devours a bowl of noodles like a dozen mistaken for kimono sashes from swollen black rubber dolls. She skins a peach as though revealing the flesh of a sibling or friend. Asuna's father has gone to work, but she calls for him, waiting, the vacancy nagging her like leukemia. She slams the door behind her with a dull thud, that of an infant against a shelter wall. In her haste, Asuna fails to recognize the still beauty of the morning, ideal as a virgin target, the possibility of a classroom experiment. She wriggles on to the rush hour streetcar like fat man in boxcar, street vendors cooking tea over low glowing embers like phosphorus emanating from bones. Next to her is the boy from school, the one who drew her a carp, and eyes averted their arms touch, arousing hair, raising on skin like as many lives thrilled as Captain Kermit Behan when the clouds opened to reveal the city, pretty as a picture. First class calligraphy, 9 a.m., ink spills on desktops like regrets of the American chief of staff as the air raid sirens scream, mad swirl of sound scraping Asuna's insides like rabid white blood cells. She waits in the shelter with her schoolmates in a purgatory of never made love, sports not cheered, unrehearsed concert violinists, weddings canceled, a medical miracle undiscovered, echoing in the shelter like an eternally vacant womb. The siren stops momentarily. Hope, like prayers for a charred father's impromptu second cremation. Asuna stays behind and in the doorway where her sisters are gathered, a flash, like sheet lightning on the sea, awaking Susanu, god of storms, flash of half a childhood, an uncracked diary, flash like the Xeroxing of non-proliferation agreements, flash like Truman's deathbed conscience, flash like Caldecott's resolve, flash of candles, 240,000 paper cranes, flash like the waking minds of the war drunk, stories and photographs like buckets of cold water, flash of the decommissioning pen, flash like a blast of morning sun through opened curtains into kitchens where families lay bathed in the rays of what were we thinking, what are we thinking, and no more. Flash of aftermath reversed. Flash like the 68 years of pleas of Asuna, the Hibakusha, the survivors, the voices of the stolen innocent 